Welcome to today's Merchant Webinar session. Today, we'll be highlighting the main sections within the Merchant Interface, as well as the important aspects of your account that you should be aware of as you're starting to grow your affiliate program on the network. If you have any questions during today's session, please feel free to ask them in the chat box, and we'll answer as many of them as we can during and after the presentation. You are able to control a lot of aspects of your affiliate program under the My Account tab, and I'll be going through the main sections that you should be aware of in your account. We'll start by going to the Account Details page. At the top of this page, you'll see your program's name, merchant ID, and the category that your program is listed under. In the top right corner, you can also view and edit your program's default commission rate and tracking gap. Lastly, you can view your affiliate recruitment URL by clicking the full link displayed in your account. And this is the link that you can send to prospects that you're in direct contact with to onboard them on the network. You can set up additional logins on this page if you'd like to give your teammates access to your account and you can manage specific email notifications related to your account. You can also adjust your auto approval settings for affiliate applications if you'd like. Lastly, you can update your main contact information at any time on this page, as well as set up additional email addresses for your teammates to receive notifications related to your account. Next, if you click the Affiliate Communications tab, you can view and manage the various aspects of your account that are showcased to affiliates. Your program bio is the main part of your account that's showcased to prospect affiliates when they're reviewing your program. So this is a great opportunity to make a great first impression on what your program and brand have to offer. Your program bio should include information about your company, your affiliate program, you can highlight popular products, and contact information so prospect affiliates can reach out if they have any questions. You can also create your program bio using HTML code. However, you will need to have experience with HTML as this would be set up on your end. Your affiliate agreement is your legally binding agreement with your affiliates. Any program restrictions or rules that are enforced will need to be added here. Without an agreement in, in place, your program technically and legally has no restrictions. We highly recommend speaking with your legal team to set up your affiliate agreement, as our team cannot assist in the creation of your agreement. However, a few common topics to include are trademark regulations, grounds of termination, PPC bidding rules, and coupons and deals policies. Search keywords are used by affiliates to find new merchant programs, so be sure to fill out this section with keywords or terms that relate to your program or products. You can add up to 255 characters worth of keywords, terms, and phrases. So, the more keywords you include for your program, the more visibility and exposure your program will receive. We'd also recommend leaving out the spaces in between your keywords and commas to allow for even more keywords to be added. Lastly, your email responders are automated emails that are sent to prospect affiliates throughout the application process. Affiliates will receive your automated email responders when they apply for your program and when they're approved or declined. Email responders are your first point of contact to new affiliates, so your approval email should include usable links to tools and sales data like best sellers, demographics, and more. The next tab is the commission portal. The Commission Portal houses the Commission Hierarchy, which outlines all of the ways that you can modify the commission that your affiliates are eligible to receive. Each commission setting runs with its own hierarchy, and the most important aspect of the Commission Hierarchy is that each commission setting overrides all of the commission settings above it. The Standard View outlines the most common commission settings, however, you can expand the view within your account to review the full commissioned hierarchy. 
Feel free to reach out to our team if you have any questions related to the commission hierarchy. The last tab is the Deposit Center tab. This is where you'll be able to review your current account balance as well as your deposit history. Your most recent deposits will be displayed on this page with their respective transaction IDs, deposit amounts, and downloadable invoices and receipts. You can also click the View All button to review all previous deposits. You can make a manual deposit at any time under the Make a Deposit section. Simply enter the deposit amount, which must be a minimum of $25, and a payment method to make the deposit. You can make a manual deposit via credit card, e-check, or PayPal. You can also enable the auto deposit feature if you'd like to automatically deposit funds in your account when your account balance drops below a certain amount. We highly recommend utilizing the auto deposit feature as a safeguard so your account does not drop below zero dollars and go offline. As a reminder, when your account balance drops below zero dollars, your program will go offline, meaning your affiliate links will become inactive and your program will not be visible to affiliates. If you'd like to utilize the auto deposit feature, you'll need to deposit funds via credit card as PayPal is not supported for this feature and you can turn this feature on or off at any time. Thank you for taking the time to join our merchant webinar. We hope this information will help you continue to set up and optimize your accounts on the network. If you have any additional questions related to the tools or features available within your account, please don't hesitate to submit a ticket by going to the Help Center. You can access the Help Center on the left side of the homepage. Once your ticket has been submitted, a member of our merchant development team will be more than happy to provide further support.